dejándose guiar por la fuerza del Espíritu Santo hacia las periferias del mundo. The name Mother Teresa resonates well to Catholics the world over as the one saint of modern times who broke all barriers, religious, cultural, social, racial, and economic to embrace the poorest of the poor in the contemporary human society. Did you know that Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, India, as she was popularly known, was not born anywhere near India? Agnes Gonja Boyanju was born on 26th August in the year 1910 in Skopje, North Macedonia and died in Calcutta, India on 5th Mamma, baby. 
hizi kabla hatujaendelea na ibada ya misa mwanzo wake naomba tu niwaeleze au ni wape maelezo kidogo machache ya siku ya leo haswa kuhusu wamisionari wa upendo padri ni wakili wa siri za Mungu mapadri wa misionari wa upendo humruhusu Yesu katika maisha yao ili aendelee kuwatafuta maskini wanaoteseka na walio na kiu na njaa ya Mungu wakiyafunga madonda yao kwa njia ya upendo wao na huduma ya sakramenti Baba Askofu Filipa Nyolo wa Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi Kenya leo tarehe sita Septemba mwaka huu katika kanisa hili letu la Bikra Maria wa Kameli hapa Mkuroi atatoa daraja takatifu ya upadri kwa shemasi Solomon Maticha wa shirika la mapadri wa misionari wa upendo Huyu sasa anapaswa kuwa ni mfano bora wa Kristo Yesu mchungaji mwema mdumu wa sakramenti za huruma ya Mungu mtumishi na wakili wa siri za Mungu anatumwa kuinjilisha na kuinjilishwa tayari kusadaka maisha yake yote kwa Kristo Padri anapaswa kuwa ni mfano na kielezo cha Kristo mchungaji mwema kwa kujisadaka kwa ajili ya Kristo na kanisa lake sadaka inayojionyesha katika mchakato wa maisha na, uh, na utume wa kipadri kwa kujikita katika huduma makini kwa familia ya Mungu anayoihudumia. Hayo ndiyo maelezo na sasa tunaweza kuendelea na ibada. Karibu baba askofu. Kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amen. Amani iwe nanyi. Kabazi wapendwa Mungu sherehe kubwa tunayo ishere, nayo sisi wote tunayoishuhudia tumshukuru Mungu kwa upendo wake anatujalia padri ambaye atatuhudumia atatuunganisha na mapenzi yake atatuwezesha pia kuwa watoto wake kwa njia bora na inayofaa katika mazingira yetu tuombe wito mapadri wengine saidi na saidi ili ya kwamba Mungu aweze kukamilisha kazi yake katika binadamu na katika ulimwengu ambamo kuna mahitaji mengi ya kumweza kumjua, kumpenda na kumtumikia. Na kungamia Mungu Mwenyezi. turumia tusamee dhambi zetu na kutufikisha kwenye uzima wa milele
Hatuombe. E Bwana Mungu wetu. Unaye liongoza taifa lako kwa kumtumia kutumia huduma ya mapadri. Umjalie huyu shemasi wa kanisa lako uliyependa kumteua leo kwa kazi ya upadre asamili kukutumikia katika mapenzi yako ili kwa huduma na maisha yake aweze kuutafuta utukufu wako katika Kristu anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele reading a reading from the book of, of the prophet Jeremiah in the days of Josiah the word of the Lord came to me before I formed you in the womb I knew you before you were born I dedicated you, a prophet, to the nations I appointed you. Ah, Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, do not say I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, oracle of the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying to me, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord.
Sita pungu kiwana kitu Katika malisho ya majani Mabichi unilaza Kando ya maji ya utulivu Uniongoza Katika njia zilizo sawa Kwa jili ya jina lake Hata nija popita katika bonde la giza Sio gopi mabaya Kwa ni wewe upo pamoja nami Gongo lako na fimbo yako vya ni fariji Wana ni mchungaji wangu Sita pungu kiwa na kitu Wana ni mchungaji wangu Sita pungu kiwa na kitu Wanda meza mbele yangu Macho ni padu izangu Ume ni paka mafuta kichwa ni kwangu Na kikombe changu kinafurika Wana ni mchungaji wangu Sita pungu kiwa Fadhili zina nifuata Siku zote za maisha yangu Nitaka nyumba ni mwagwana Kwa miaka mingi milele Wana ni mchungaji wangu Sita pungu kiwana ki Somo katika waraka wa wa Ebrania. Kila kuhani mkuu uchaguliwa kutoka miongoni mwa watu na amewekwa kwa ajili ya wanadamu katika mambo na yanayo muhusu Mungu ili atoe matoleo na daibu kwa ajili ya dhambi yeye aweza kushughulikia kwa upole na wale wasiojua na wanaokotea kwa kuwa yeye mwenyewe yuko chini ya udhaifu ndio maana anampasa kutoa dhaibu kwa ajili ya dhambi zake mwenyewe na kwa ajili ya dhambi za watu pia wala hakuna mtu anayejitwalia heshima hii bali kuipokea anapoitwa na Mungu kama vile Haruni alivyoitwa vivyo hivyo Kristo hakujitwalia utukufu wa kuwa kuhani mkuu lakini Mungu akamwambia wewe ni mwanangu mimi leo nimekuwa 
baba yako na anasema mahali pengine wewe ni kuhani milele kwa mfano wa Melekizedeki katika siku za maisha ya Yesu duniani alitoa sala na dua pamoja na vilio vikali na machozi kwa yule ambaye angeweza kumuokoa kutoka katika kifo naye akasikilizwa kwa sababu ya kujitisha kwake kwa heshima ingawa alikuwa mwana alijifunza kutii kutokana na mateso hayo yaliyompata na, na alipokwisha kukamulishwa akawa chanzo cha okovu wa milele kwa wale wote wanamuti na Mungu alimteua kuwa kuhani mkuu kwa mfano wa Melkizedeki Hilo ndilo neno la Bwana katika injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane Mtukufu 
ikawa jioni ya siku ile ya kwanza ya Juma alikuja Yesu akasimama katikati ngawa milango ya chumba walimokaa wafuasi ilikuwa imefungwa kwa kogopa wa Yahudi akawaambia amani iwe nanyi baada ya maneno hayo akawaonesha mikono yake na ubavu wake wafuasi wakafurahi walipomuona bwana Yesu akawaambia mara ya pili Amani iwe nanyi kama baba alivyonituma mimi nami na watuma ninyi Baada ya maneno hayo akawapulizia akawaambia pokeeni roho mtakatifu wowote mtakaoondolea dhambi wameondolewa wowote mtakaofungia dhambi wamefungiwa Injili ya Bwana yule atakayepewa daraja ya upadri azongee hapa Shemasi mtumishi Solomon Unyansi Maticha MC Makanisa mtakatifu anaomba umweke huyu ndugu yetu katika daraja ya upadri. Je, wajua kama anastahili?
Bade aku a Ulisa, wa Cristo, na cupata u Thibetisho, wa wato wanao husika, na shuria kwamba anastahili. Na kwa msaada, wabana mungu, na wamukozi wetu Yesu Christu, Tunamteua huyu ndugu yetu apewe daraja ya upadri. Kwa basi ala kusema asante kwa siku hii nzuri ambamo ndugu yetu Solomon anapewa daraja ya upadri ili kwamba aweze kulitumikia kanisa la Mungu. Tumpigie makofi. Sina budi kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya upendo wake kwetu sisi wote jinsi anavyotushuhudia katika mahitaji yetu hitaji la muhimu sana ni kuweza kujitambua kwamba sisi ni watoto wake naye pia anatulinda na anatukinga na kwa adui yoyote ambayo ni muovu katika maisha yetu kwa njia hiyo anatupatia mapadri. Nasema asante kwa kuniwezesha mimi kushiriki katika ibada hii ambayo ni maalumu sana. Ibada katika kanisa, ibada ya kanisa na ibada inayoeneza kanisa la Bwana. Kwa basi ndugu zangu ambao mtampokea huyu ndugu yetu Solomon pokee ni kwa furaha na wazazi wake mlie mlea na mmetoa ili ya kwamba aweze kufanya kazi ya Mungu tumshukuru Mungu wa kazi mlioifanya mkamtolea Mungu tuwapigie makofi Hii ni mara yangu ya kwanza kuja hapa na ninafurahia nafurahia kwa sababu sisi wote tunatambua majukumu yetu katika wito wa wokovu wa kila mmoja wetu tushirekee wote ibada hii kwa furaha na shangwe itokayo katika mioyo yetu basi nikilinganisha siku hii ya leo na katika na masomo yetu ya leo na omba ya kwamba ndugu yetu padri mteuliwa awe ama shikile hili neno la Yesu Kristo to be conscious that you are a priest to be conscious that you are called to serve to serve the Lord with gladness please don't lose that concept in your life for that reason even God himself in Jesus Christ told us to celebrate the Eucharist in the memory of him so that we remain conscious of the memory of Jesus Christ the consciousness of the Eucharist the consciousness that we have seen being brought forward to us delivered through many saints as we celebrate today we celebrate the saint of the, the ones who are here the ones we have incensed Uh, uh, Mary, our lady of Mount Carmel, and also uh, Mother Teresa, they were very conscious of their calling to serve God. So be conscious. In the first reading, Jesus Christ and God himself at that time, by talking to Jeremiah, he is telling him, be conscious that I have called you and have no doubt that I have called you. 
Don't doubt it, but instead contemplate always on why I have called you, on my will for you. Alafu anamwambia basi yote utakayosema nimeweka katika kinywaji kinywa katika mdomo wako. Utayazungumza don't be afraid. But be conscious that I'm with you always. Be conscious that I'm protecting you always. Na katika somo la injili pia Kristo anatukumbusha yale yale na kwamba tuweze kuyafanya yote aliyo inayotuitia kwa mpigo huo wa kuweza kumfahamu kila wakati ya kwamba tunafanya jambo la Mungu and in particular when you are serving people of God at the altar at the, sacri- the altar and the, t- the sacrament of the Eucharist let us make conscious he tells us this remain conscious aware that i have chosen you and i will be with you always i will protect you i will bring my holy spirit to guide you so you are not alone but conscious about this that you are taking care you are serving my people the people the christians are the people of god we are one of them as people chosen to serve them we serve them through and by the authority given to us by jesus christ himself in that service sometimes we are very powerless but the power is the spirit that god himself gives to us so share your presence of before Christ with the people of God that is why you are called that's why what you want to do share your presence with the people of God don't be afraid to proclaim the word of God don't be afraid i'm sure god will work in you and will do wonders mimi mara nyingi i'm not disturbed I'm not bothered to hear that the other denominations the other religions and even evil is taking over from the people of the people of God but what bothers me is this and what disturbs me is this that the people of God who have been chosen and especially ourselves who have gone through theological studies ecclesiastical studies studies liturgical courses apostolic missions and know everything we are doing nothing about it sometimes we complain and we panic that the church is being taken over the people of god are being taken over by the evil side or the other side but then we should complain that we are doing nothing about it here jesus christ gives it very outwardly i'm putting these words they are not even your words i'm putting them in your mouth speak them out and the words is speaking sometimes they are not that those that are going to align you with the work of the evil but to align you with himself who came to the world who came to his people to do good we see these examples in this sense that we are put here we notice mother teresa we notice the mary i'm a little over there the car mount camera and we notice your formation also it was not always to talk about other religions not about the victory of other religions but it was always to do something good to do something worthy a virtuous thing that will overcome evil he would be very conscious about the presence the presence and the love of god for his people from whom they were called to serve they served them they knew them they knew the plight of the people and they discerned their needs their needs to be served by god so my brother this is what we are called to do to do 
good as to overcome evil. Not to talk about evil always. Not to attack anything, anybody else who is doing that, but to do that good side, that the good thing that will help us to overcome evil and to, prosper, to bring the gospel of God uh, uh, prosperously to many other people. And for this, again, I want, from my own personal experience, to ask you, my brother and my son, that let us always be conscious about our calling. It is a noble calling of service to the people of God. Know their needs. Know them personally. Discern their needs and serve them with the great love of God. Whoever you are doing, it may be your brother in the, in the congregation. It may be a, your, your family member. It may be a Christian somewhere. But that is what you are supposed to do. So to be conscious of what we have been called. Here, Jeremiah is reminded about a number of things. And Jesus Christ also reminds us about a number of things. And all of them boil down to the service of the people of God. The Christological dimension of your call. Bear it in mind always that you are made in the likeness of God, but in this sense of your ordination, you are another Christ. You are another Christ. Learn the consciousness of Christ's presence among his people. Learn the spirit of his service in his people. Learn to be a disciple who is called to walk in holiness. The force behind this mystery and this ministry that you are going to do is to perfect your manhood in Christ and to witness the love of Christ to all the people. We have that theological dimension. And the theological dimension is for you, my dear brother, never to forget that you are a priest. Be conscious that you have been called, you have been chosen to transmit a charism that is particular and special in the congregation that you are a member. Don't forget that. Remind yourself always that one. That one. And it will serve you. And as you do it, remember, you have been called to live a style of life that will make you be conscious every day about the love of God among his people. This is what we now want to call as a liturgical dimension of your priestly life. Exercise your priesthood, your priestly office in sacrificing even to your, for your total self for the people of God. Be taken up, be immersed in Christ for the sake of the people of God. Do your liturgy, remembering this is a service that connects you to God and connects you also to the people of God and it therefore connects all of us to God himself. And especially as you go on perform the summit to bring people to the summit of their life in the Eucharistic liturgy. I want to ask you, my dear brother, to be conscious about what you are doing. Give the sake of the people of God and for the sake of your own self. The memory of Christ is alive and it nurtures us to grow towards him. We have also an ecclesiastical dimension. This is as you are. Strengthen your brothers. Strengthen your brothers. Don't look down on them. Strengthen your brothers. Encourage them in their vocations. 
bring them closer to God and live and walk the same path towards Christ himself. I want to say the last thing in these all these dimensions. Our strength and our consciousness that we are priests, that we are serving God, that we are the altar, bringing the people of God together for the Eucharistic purposes, cannot be done without us as priests, without the presence of Mary, the mother of God. As a priest, you know Mary is our mother also. Mary guides us through many challenges, through many difficulties, and she brings us to Christ, and she reminds us about Christ, and she reminds us about what Jesus wants us to do in our, with our lives and the lives of others. Never take it for granted, the role of Mary in your priesthood. She is the path and the sign, the indicator back to Christ himself who calls us and reminds us to be conscious always before him. In doing so, we'll be doing the things that will save the world, that will save you, that will bring people closer to God. Don't concentrate your ministry on handling, only tackling all other, other positions in life, but concentrate on doing something good, even if it's smaller, doing it with greatness, with greatness. Even if it's so something small, but for the people of God, do it in a way that it's God himself doing it, and he's doing it for the greater glory of himself in those little things that happen, and they are done with our own hands, the hands of Jesus Christ amongst his people. That is the spirit of our saints. They did smaller things. They did great things in smaller things in greater ways, with a great heart, with open mind, for the sake and for the good of others. So, my brother, I pray for you. And as your father ordaining you in this priesthood, be assured of all this remembering you in the moments of the Eucharistic celebration. God loves the church for, in such a way that he can give you to the service of God. Thank you very much for accepting. Now that you want to be a priest, don't doubt your priesthood again, but always concentrate on discerning on how God wants you to complete and accomplish his will among his people. Doubting your priesthood again is taking you to a wrong direction. Discern what God wants you to do every day among his people, for his people, through his people, and with his people. May God bless you and may he guide you in all that you are going to do and to be as a priest of Christ. We are so happy to have you. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few, and the Lord is many few. But the few things you do, the small things you do, because the greatest population looks for greater things, the smaller things in life sometimes are not considered. The smaller people in life sometimes are not considered. But then that's where we find the purpose of God. Who in Jesus Christ counted on small things. Yes, that lady who gave him something small has done the greatest. Yes, that man who was hiding on a tree to look at me. He was afraid of me. He has done the greatest thing. So those smaller things are at your disposal for discernment and bring people of God close together. You will have the chalice, the chalice with the wine, and the pattern with the bread of Christ. You will serve the people by consecrating it. You will serve them and you'll be told, be conscious. Be conscious 
of what you are doing at that very moment. And people will give you a chance to be conscious. The moment you start contemplation, everybody keeps quiet, goes back to himself in relationship directly with what you are doing. So don't be away in that very wonderful moment, that mystery, that the whole world is listening you to you. And the whole world is concentrating on that one particular moment that Jesus Christ is saying, do this in memory of me. Do this, do this to save the whole world. What we do in our own church and in our liturgy, if we do it with a lot of consciousness and with a lot of total self of giving in as priests, it's already now for preaching and overcoming all the evil because we are conscious of what God told us. Do this in the memory of me. So, may God bless you. May he bless your hands. May he bless your mind. May he bless your heart. May he bless your feet and everything that you are doing. And may he bless also the community in which you are believing that you become really a blessing and the presence of God himself in your priesthood and in your life of prayer, in your life of love for one another, in your life of total surrender and giving yourself to the service of the Lord. Mungu wa kubariki, eh? Samuel, uh, Solomon, Mungu wa kubariki, sawa sawa? Eh, wazazi wako, Mungu wa kubariki. Asante. Na wengine wote, I know you have also desired to want to bring your children to come and serve the Lord. Always look at your matrimony. How does it work? That's where the vocation begins. That's where the vocation begins. That's where the vocation begins. The way the parents are living, that's how it is reflected also in their priesthood, in the priesthood of these ones. If they were really farmers, when Apenda Uguliba, when the priest comes even to the priesthood, he wants to do also farming. He has something from the parents. If they were really traders, he has that knowledge to bring it in the common fund of sharing together. So they bring a lot with them from you into the priesthood, which is the universal priesthood of Christ for the service of the world. They bring your own gifts also to that. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. God has put those words and those actions, those activities already in you as you continue taking care of the little ones from whom God will choose to serve him as priests, as sisters, as brothers, and also as people in the family's parents. So this ordination here encourages us not only for ordination as a priest, but it encourages us also and it make, gives us joy that now our families have now another opportunity for God to be even closer to them, to be closer to them. For the priest is taken out of the families so that he may go back to serve the families, the people of God. So my dear young people, don't be afraid to pray for your children to become religious. Pray for your own child, your son, your daughter, and everything, and they become free. Priesthood is a noble thing. Priesthood is a noble thing. It has its own challenges. But those challenges are what Jesus Christ is saying. I'm not leaving you alone. I'll put even the words that you're going to say in your own mouth. I will not leave you alone. So you become the instrument of God in the best way possible for the service of the people of God. For the service of the people of God. And finally, you are a deacon. You are a deacon. Now I'm never and I'm not and I have no power to remove that diaconate in you. I have no power. I can only ask God to build on you. Diaconate means service. Means sir. Service. So we only graduate your service, the spirit of service to God in the priesthood. But you will remain a deacon. You will remain a deacon and the priest. 
the service you give will be of a higher level so as to help many others to serve the Lord. Are you happy? So if you are happy, we go ahead and we ordain you. Asante. analiongoza na kulistawisha kanisa lake hapa duniani. Tumekusanyika asubuhi ya leo katika adhimisho la daraja la upadri na tunapomshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wa daraja hili ya upadri. Tunapo kwa, tumuombe kwa ajili ya, ya shemasi wetu Solomon Onyasi Maticha ambaye tumemwona ambaye alitoa na anataka kupokea daraja hii ya upadri. Mhashamu askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo wa Jimbo la Nairobi ndiye atakayetuongoza katika adhimisho hili na ndiye atakaye mpa daraja hii ya, use, eh, ya upadri. Wapendwa taifa la Mungu, mwanzoni mwa ibada hii takatifu, Padri mtarajiwa alikabidhiwa na ndugu wake hapa mbele na, ba, na baba na wazazi kama tulivyoona na sasa baba askofu mkuu anampokea ili aweze kuendelea na sherehe hii ya, kumka, ya kumfanya padri karibu baba askofu so kama nangu solomon wanangu mpendwa sana kabla hujachongea kupewa daraja ya upadri ya kupasa kudhihirisha mbele za watu nia yako ya kupokea madaraka hayo je wataka kutimiza daima kazi ya kikuhani katika katika ngazi ya mapadri kama msaidizi mwaminifu wa maaskofu katika kulichunga kundi la Bwana ukiongozwa na roho mtakatifu nataka je wataka kutekeleza huduma ya neno kwa mhubiri kwa mhubiri kuhubiri njili na kufafanua imani katoliki kwa uchaji na busara nataka je wataka kuadhimisha mafumbo ya Kristu kwa ibada ya uaminifu kulingana na mapokeo ya kanisa kwa namna ya pekee sadaka ya ikaristia na sakramendi ya upatanisho kwa utukufu wa Mungu na kwa utakatifu wa taifa la Mungu nataka aje wataka pamoja nasi kumuomba Mungu huruma yake kwa ajili ya kundi unalokabidhiwa ukidumu katika kutimiza agizo la kusali bila kuchoka nataka je wataka kui, kui, kujiunga zaidi siku hadi siku na Kristu kuhani mkuu ambaye ulitoa alitoa mwenyewe kwa alijitoa mwenyewe kwa baba kwa sadaka safi kwa ajili yetu na pamoja naye kujiweka wakfu kwa Mungu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wa watu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu nataka je waidi kuwapa askofu wa jimbo na mkuu wa shirika heshima na utii na aidi basi Mungu aliyeanzisha ndani yako kazi hiyo njema 
yeye mwenyewe aikamilishe Mungu wapendwa tumuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi amjalie wingi wa mapaji ya mbinguni huyu mtumishi wake aliyemteua kwa kazi ya upadri tupige magoti Takatifu Mikaeli Utuombe Watakatifu malaika wa Mungu Utuombe Mtakatifu Yohane Mbatizaji Mtakatifu Yosefu Utuombe Watakatifu Petro na Paulo Utuombe Mtakatifu Andrea Utuombe Mtakatifu Yohane Mtakatifu Maria Magdalena Utuombe Mtakatifu Stefano Utuombe Mtakatifu Ignasi wa Antiochia Mtakatifu la urenti Utuombe Watakatifu papejo na felista Utuombe Mtakatifu agnesi Utuombe Mtakatifu gregori Mtakatifu Agostino Utuombe Mtakatifu Tomaso wa Aquino Utuombe Mtakatifu Atanasi Utuombe Mtakatifu Basili Mtakatifu Martini wa Pores Utuombe Mtakatifu Benedicto Utuombe Watakatifu Francisco na Dominico Utuombe Mtakatifu Francisco wa Assisi Mtakatifu Francisco Saveri Utuombe 
Mtakatifu Yohane Maria vi ane. Mtakatifu Katarina wa siena. Mtakatifu Teresia wa mtoto Yesu. Watakatifu Karoli Luanga na wenzake. Mtakatifu Yosifi na bakito. Mtakatifu Antoni Owapadwa. Mtakatifu Paulo wa sita. Mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa pili. Mtakatifu Mama Teresa wa Kalkuta. Mtakatifu Mama Teresa wa Kalkuta. Mtakatifu Solomoni. Mtakatifu Yohane wa Ishirini na tatu. Mwenye heri Clementina, nenga peta wa anu arite. Mwenye heri Irene ya atha. Mwenye heri Victoria Rasamana Rivo. Mwenye heri Yosefu Gerardo. Mwenye heri Isidori Bakanja. Watakatifu wote wa mungu. Uture mi e utu oko e bwa Uture mi e utu oko e bwa Katika uovu wote Utu oko e bwa Katika dhambi yoyote Katika mauti ya milele Kwa kujifanya mwanadamu Kwa kufana kufufuka kwako Kwa kumpeleka roho mtakatifu Sisi wako sefu, tuwa kuomba utu. Upende kulista wisha kanisa lako, kwa kujitolea kwa huyu. Mtumishi wako, na kufanya kazi njema ya kitume. Upende kulisi mamia na kulilinda kanisa la kota katifu. Tuwa kumbamba utu sikie. Upende kumlinda baba mtakatifu na wote wenye daraja katika utu mishi wa kanisa la kwa.
Sikiliza kwa sala zetu. Ili mimiinie huyu mtumishi wako baraka ya Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu ya neema ya kuki ya kikuhani. Sisi tunamtoa kwako e bwana mwenye huruma ili umweke wakfu naye akipokea apoke, akipoke kipaji hiki unajomjalia kwa ukarimu usiokoma kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu tusimame Uwe nazi e bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulia asili na hadhi ya wanadamu na mgawaji wa neema za watu zote kwako wewe ulimu, ulimwengu wote wanufaika kwako wewe vitu vyote vinemarika wewe ambaye kwa ajili ya kuliunda taifa la kikuhani wawapanga wa wahudumu wa Kristu mwanao kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu katika kazi mbali mbali ndani yake ndivyo katika agano la kwanza kazi zilizo zilivyo ansa na kukua na namna kwa namna ya ajabu na ulivyo wapeleka Musa na Haruni kutawala na kuwatakatifuza kuata, watu wako uli wachagua watu katika ngazi na hadhi mbalimbali mbali chini yao kwa ajili ya jamii ya utendaji wao ndivyo pia kule jangwani ulivyoeneza roho mtakatifu ulivyoeneza roho wa Musa kwa njia ya watu sabini wa wenye busara wakawa wasaidisi wake miongoni mwa watu hata akaweza kutawala
kwa ushahidi kwa urahisi zaidi kundi lako na ndivyo ulivyowajalia wana wa Haruni ukamilifu wa ukuhani wa baba yao ili wa makasisi wa kutosha kutoa sadaka za heshima za hekima na he, hemani amba, ambazo silikuwa mfano wa mambo yatakayokuja kukidi hadhi inavyoangaziwa kwa mujibu wa sheria ya kiguhani na hatimaye katika utimilivu wa nyakati baba mwenye baba mwema alimtuma mwanao daima duniani yani Yesu Kristu aliye mfalme wa msha, na, na mshenga wa imani yetu yeye alijitoa kwako kwa njia ya Roho Mtakatifu sadaka safi isiyo na doa na aka akawafanya mitume wake alio watakaza katika ile ukweli washiriki utume wake hao nao aliwaongeza aliongezea waandamizi na akatangaza neno la Mungu kupitia kwa wale waandamizi wakovu kwa dunia nzima sasa tunakuomba e bwana katika unyonge wetu utujalie wasaidisi hawa wetu ambao tunawastarajia katika utendaji wetu wa ukuhani wa kimungu na kitume e bwana mwenyezi tunakuomba umpe huyu mtumishi wako hadhi ya upadri utie upya moyoni mwake roho wa utakatifu usimamie kazi ya daraja la pili ambalo amepokea katika kutoka kwako e Mungu na kwa maisha yake awe mfano wa maadili awe msaidizi wetu mwema ili maneno ya injili ya zai matunda katika mioyo ya watu na ya enee hadi mpaka mipaka ya mwisho ya dunia kwa njia ya mahubiri yake kwa neema ya Roho Mtakatifu pamoja nasi e eh, awe mgawaji mtikamilivu na wa manufaa wana mafumbo yako kuzudi taifa lako liumbwe kwa upya kuoshwa na kuzaliwa mara ya pili na lilishwe altarini pako na wewe wenyewe uendelee dhambi zao na waoshe wawe wasafi na waponye wagonjwa wanaosafiri awe daima na ushirika nasi e bwana kwa ku, kukusi, kukusi huruma yako kwa ajili ya watu waliokabidhiwa waliokabidhiwa kwake na pia kwa dunia nzima na hivyo mataifa yote yapate kukusanywa katika Kristu na kwa taifa lako lililo moja na lifi, eh, lifikie utimilivu wake katika ufalme wako tunaomba hayo kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Wa Kristo wapendi sasa mbele yetu tunaye padri mpya kabisa ambaye ni padri Solomon Maticha. Hebu tumpigie makofi kidogo. Sasa sasa tunapoona 
anavikwa stola ya kipadri kofi vile vile za kutambulia ambao iko pale imeshikwa na padri mapadri wenzake baada ya kuvalishwa haya mavazi mtamwangalia tu na kutamani kuwa kama yeye siku ya leo Jongea mbele ya baba askofu mkuu kama hamjui ni nini kinaendelea pale Bwana Yesu Kristu ambaye baba alimpaka mafuta kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu akulinde kwa ajili ya kuwatakaza wa Kristu na kuwatolea kwa Mungu sadaka Tumpigie baba askofu mkuu makofi kwa kumpata mafuta ya krisma mafuta ya kumfanya huyu padri wetu awe mtu wa kutakasa kulingana na jinsi naye vile alivyo takaswa na baba askofu mkuu wa Kristo tunamuona sasa padri mpya akikabidhiwa dhabihu za utendakazi amekabidhiwa mkate kwenye patena na divai kwenye kalisi tumpigie makofi vile vile vyote hivi atapokea pokea the beauty ta, za taifa takatifu za kumtolea Mungu fahamu hayo utakayotenda fuasa hayo utakayofanya napatanisha maisha yako na fumo la msalaba wa Bwana
Tukubaliki na Bwana Mungu mwenyezi. E Bwana uliyetaka mapadri wako wa kutumikia altare takatifu na watu wako wewe uliye mwema kwa ajili ya sadaka hii wajalie watumishi wako hawa wa kupendeze daima katika huduma yao anayo ilete matunda ya dumuyo siku zote katika kanisa lako kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi. Awe roho mwako. mioyo. Tumeinua kwa Bwana. Na Bwana Mungu wetu. Ni Kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufana la kuleta wokovu. Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote. E Bwana baba ulie mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele. Wewe kwa mpako wa roho mtakatifu ulimweka mwanao pekee awe kuhani mkuu wa agano jipya na nala milele na kwa mpango wako usio usio elezeka ulipenda kuhani wako pekee utuzwe katika kanisa maana yeye mwenyewe alipamba taifa alilo, jite, alilo jipatia kwa ukuhani wa kifalme na kwa wema wa, wa kidugu amewateua watu pia ili waishirikishwe huduma yake takatifu kwa kuwawekea mikono nao katika jina lake waendeleze waendelee kuadhimisha sadaka ya ukombozi wa wanadamu wakia wakiandaa karama ya kipa, kipa, kipasaka kwa ajili ya wana wako wali waliitangulie taifa lako takatifu katika mapendo walilishe kwa, kwa neno lako na kuwatia uzima kwa sakramenti nao wakitoa nafasi zao nafsi zao kwa ajili yako kwa na kwa wokovu wa ndugu zetu wajibidishe kufananishwa na sura ya Kristu mwenyewe na hatimaye wadumu katika kushuhudia imani na upendo wako na kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu wote twakusihi na tukusifu na tukitangaza kwa shangwe bila mwisho tukisema Oh
Bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumba nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia ya mwanao bana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala uwachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mawie ya jua hati hata macho yake dadi usafi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusihi kwa nyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakaze upendo kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili vile kwetu mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivi hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru alikibariki akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu la imani adhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaleta wokovu pamoja na ufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujaza na roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristu Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mtume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu pamoja na, ma, na mtakatifu mama Teresa wa Kalkuta na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako na kuomba ai bwana huyu alie kafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kulimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalo safiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francis askofu wetu John Obala askofu wetu Philip Anyolo pamoja na si hapa pamoja na maaskofu wote na huyu mtumishi wako ulipenda kumpa leo daraja ya upadri na waklero wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii uliwaita hapa mbele yako 
E baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wa kusanye kwako wana wote walio tawanyika popote duniani. Wapoke kwa wema katika ufame wako ndugu zetu marahimu na wote wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufame huo ile pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake tunaujalia umri wangu mema yote. kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni mfalme wako ufike utakalo ifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupele mkate wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitie kwa kesho lakini tukope mwa E bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kwema amani maishani mwetu kuzuri kwa msaada wa huruma yako. Tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadaishe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia matumaini lenye heri kwa ujio wa mwokozi bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Ee bwana Yesu Kristo niliambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa Uizame dhambi zetu ile tu imani ya kanisa lako na upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala daima na milele Amina. Na amani ya bwana iwe nanyi Tutakiane amani
Tazama mwana kuondoa Mungu, tazama yeye aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu. Heri yao wote walia alikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondo. Eh Bwana, sisaidie kwangu. Lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itakufa. Na mwili wa Kristo unilinde nipate uzima wa milele.
Ewe bwana tabiu hii ya kimungu tulio tulio kutolea na kuipokea iwahuzishe mapadri wako na watumishi wako wote ili wakishi wakishaukamilika wakisha katika ungamo lao la kukutolea sadaka takatifu mapendo yao ya milele yakamilike kwako na wastahili kuishi upendo wako katika maisha yao kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu
kaya padri mpya na sasa padri wetu mpya atatoa baraka za kipekee kwanza kabisa kwa baba askofu mkuu Philip Anyolo mkuu wa shirika la mapadri wa upendo padri John Moran na vile vile wazazi mapadri na wakristu wote na mwalika padri atakayetuongoza karibu asante Niti, ni, mimi uh, nitawa tangulisha uh, Father John ni uh, kuhani ku ya shirika letu wa missionaries of charity nitamwalika kusema yake baada ya hayo nitamwalika Father Boniface uh, ku, uh, kusema yake Na, lang, lakini kabla ya hayo ningetaka kumpatia Shukrani kubwa kwa Father uh, Boniface kwa sababu ameturuhusu ametu uh, fungua milango ya community na kanisa uh, last minute uh, kwa sababu hiyo nime, nimesikia kama mtakatifu Yosefu hakuna mahali Bethlehemu lakini Father Boniface umetusalimisha Uh, ume tu karibisha sante sana uh, piga mahali sante na nina malika father john moran kuhani ku ya ushirika letu wa missionaries wa upendo father john asante uh, sana i'd like to thank in the name of the missionaries of charity fathers the missionaries of charity sisters Brothers, uh, Baba Skofu, Philip Agnolo of Nairobi, thank you so much, Your Grace, for coming and, and presiding here for us and uh, ordaining our newest priest. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> Secondly, the parish priest, uh, Father Boniface, again, thank you for offering us the possibility of holding the ordination here um, in this beautiful church, in this wonderful community of fathers and brothers and, and the faithful. So thank you so much for having us here. We appreciate it. <laughs> and all those involved in the preparation for this beautiful ceremony, it's quite involved in seeing all the moving parts, all the people that are always uh, about their work of preparing for this, this celebration. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart in the name of our fathers. Thank you so much. And I wanted to say a few words in Kisi, but I didn't quite get there, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to thank the family and friends of Father Solomon. Um, no vocation comes from itself or from one person. It comes forth. It's the faith handed on and promoted and nourished in the family and in the faith community. And we thank you so much for offering him to us and sending him to the missions wherever the Lord would have him go. I appreciate very much your, your sacrifice. We thank you so much for Father Solomon. And our MC sisters and brothers, Thank you for your great example of holiness, your way of life. It always challenges us to grow closer to the Lord ourselves. Um, thank you for your prayers and intercession. Uh, we certainly need that. And uh, 
thank you for being here on this, this beautiful day. Thank you so much. And all the faithful here, thank you for participating so wholeheartedly, uh, animating this, this beautiful ceremony, this beautiful mass of ordination. Thank you so much for your gift of yourselves in this faith community. Um, Father Boniface, Kusema Yake. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Askofu mkuu wa Nairobi Archbishop Philip Anyolo Our new priest Father Solomon all the priests sisters brothers family of God najua wengi ni wageni kanisa hii Baba Skofu amesema ni mara yake ya kwanza kuingia hapa. Na ningependa kuchukua kati huu kuwakaribisha wote na kusema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sherehe ambayo tumekuwa nayo siku ya leo ambayo imekuwa baraka kubwa sana. I would like to take this opportunity in a very special way to thank the charity fathers for choosing our church to come and bring such a blessing here. We've had several celebrations here. We've ordained many fathers here. But I think it's the first time we have one from away. And it's a really blessing. We have in communion many things, the charity fathers, because they are just our neighbors down here. And it is very significant a year like this when we are still celebrating the synodality and it shows oneness the church is open to all of us because it belongs to god and it is for the people of god so thank you so much for each and everything my name is father boniface from the order of carmelites we work here in the diocese of gong and i would like also to say thank you so much on behalf of all the fathers brothers of the order of carmelites who are working here in this parish of Goroi. So, from near, from far, karibuni sana, tena na tena. Mungu awabariki sana. To our new priest, Father Solomon, we know each other very well. You've worked here in our church uh, several times, and it's good that you brought us the blessing. So, we really pray for you as you begin your ministry. What uh, the Archbishop said, from the small things, you'll be able to do great. So we welcome you to this ministry to work with us for the people of God. Mungu akubariki sana. Thank you so much. Kabla ya kuwaelezea utaratibu, ya ifuatavyo, nitasema uh, asante kwa uh, watu wachache ningetaka kuwa shukuru uh, wana kwaya kutoka St Anthony na Stella Maris uh, need, uh, she's like our bridge to the choir so I wanted to thank the choir uh, beginning my coffee very beautiful very beautiful I wanted to thank the people ningetaka ni, ni, kuwa Shukuru watu wa kanisa parokia hapa uh, hasa Mr. Maina na Esther amba, ambao wame tu saidia sana na wame jiwekea wame jitolea kwa ajili ya hii sherekea hii shereke kubwa sana asante kwenye akina, akina mapadre uh, you know who you are Thank you for coming. I wanted to thank especially my community of fathers, Baba Mskofu, Askofu Kwasababu. I've said it before, these big ceremonies are the closest that men come to having a baby. Because there's so many things and you don't, you try your best to kuandalia vitu, lakini tumejadibu. 
And uh, I want to thank the priests of our, our community, both here in, uh, in, in our formation house there in, in Rimpa and the community in Pangani. Thank you for, for uh, being willing to, to give your all. Uh, I'm most grateful. Thank you very much. Finally, your, your grace, you have done us a great favor. Also, our, our Bishop John Obala, he was very gracious uh, to allow us to uh, invite you. So we're, we're, we're very grateful for your, your presence with us, and we pray for you, and we thank you for your example and your availability. May God bless you. Utaratibu, utaratibu. Nita wa elezea vile nilivyo weza. Asabawu mimi ni mzungu. Utaratibu, taratibu ya kukaribisha watu hapa kwa chakula. Bada ya baraka ya mwisho, nita muomba kasisi mpya, Solomon, ata bariki, Babaskofu, atabariki bada ya hayo wenzake makasisi, uh, bada ya hayo atabariki uh, familia yake. Now, so, babaskofu, kuhani na familia yake. Bada ya hayo, sisi tutasherekea kwa sababu tutakula, lakini kasisi mpya ataka hapa kufanya kazi ya kubaraka wote. Kubariki wote. Sindio. Halavu, hii itakuwa uh, bada ya uh, baraka ya mwisho ya baba uh, askofu mku, salup. Uh, yeye bada ya kutubariki, tuta pokea baraka yeye, kwanza baba askofu, uh, kuhani, familia yake, uh, tutapiga mapicha hapa, Na tutatoka makasisi wote na baba mpya, kasisi mpya, ataka hapa kubariki wote. Asante ni sana. Bwana wena nyi. Mungu aliye mwasisi na kiongozi wa kanisa akutengemeze kwa neema yake siku zote ili utimize wajibu wa, wa kipadri kwa moyo wa uaminifu Mungu akufanye uwe mwaminifu na mtumishi Na shahidi wa upendo na ukweli wa Mungu hapa duniani na muda mwaminifu wa upatanisho Amina Mungu akufanye uwe mchungaji halisi unaye wapatia waamini mkate wenye uzima wa neno la uzima Ili wakue katika umoja wa mwili wa Kristu. Amen. Na anyi nyote mulia kusanyika hapa. Awabariki mungu mwenyezi, baba, mwana, na roo mtakatifu.
Kristo wapenzi kama nilivyosema hapo awali ni baraka kwanza kabisa kwa baba askofu mkuu amepokea baraka zake sasa ni wazazi wanaopata baraka kutoka kwa padri mpya padri Solomon na ninawaomba tu wale ambao ni wahusika sio wote hatuwezi kuja sisi wote hapa mbele kwa hivyo naomba tafadhali ni wachache tu wafike kwa niaba ya wengine najua inaweza kuwa ukoo mzima ambao umetoka kutoka nyumbani kule kisi kwa sababu wanampenda mtoto wao lakini wao pia wanaweza kupata baraka wakati wowote hata hapo nje kama tulivyosema mikono yake imetawazwa alipako mafuta ya krisma kwa hivyo yeye hata akikusalimia hapo nje unapata salamu za padri mpya kabisa mikono ambayo bado iko na unyevu nyevu wa mafuta ya krisma kwa hivyo tafadhali tusije tukatokea sisi wote wale walioko wametosha hawa wamekuja wamesimamia wengine na ni asante na tuendelee kupiga makofi na kufurahia hey. Asante. Naomba tusitokee kuja kupiga picha, pigia mahali ulipo. Asante sana. Asante sana.
ambaye imeongozwa na askofu mkuu wa Jimbo la Nairobi askofu Philip Anyolo. Misa hiyo ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya upadrisho wa ndugu yetu Padri Solomon ambaye sasa ni padri kama unavyoona anabariki watu na ni shangwe kutoka katika sehemu hii ya Ngoroi. Tunajiunga na sisa mmoja wa shirika lao atuelezee habari jinsi ilivyo mambo ilivyokuwa. Sista karibu. Mimi ni Sister Joseph Catherine ni sista kutoka Huruma. Tumekuja kusherekea ndugu yetu Father Solomon ambaye ni mmoja wa father wa missionaries of charity Mother Teresa. Tunashukuru sana siku hii ya leo kwa hii sherehe. Tunaomba Mungu azidi kumbariki katika kazi yake ambaye Mungu atamjalia. Na pia tunazidi kuomba kwa ajili ya miito zaidi katika kanisa letu ili Mungu azidi kujalia vijana wengi zaidi waingie katika upadri. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Sister labda kidogo tuelezee juu ya mapadri na masista wa upendo. Je, wanafanya kazi gani na ni nani mwanzilishi wao kwa muda mfupi? Yaani ma, mapadri, masista, mabruda ni masista ambao ni, ni watu ambao wameanzishwa shirika limeanzishwa na Mother Teresa. Sasa tunafanya kazi ambazo karibu zimefanana. Kwa mapadri wanafanya kazi hasa kiroho na masista pia. Tuko na nyumba mbalimbali mbali zenye zenye watu ambao wanahudumiwa. Kwa hiyo ni shirika ambalo limeanzishwa kwa ajili ya huduma ya maskini, kimwili na kiroho. Sante. Sister Mother Teresa ni mama ambaye amejulikana na kanisa na amefanya kazi nyingi sana hapa duniani kote na tunaona kweli hapa mko wengi zaidi hapa Kenya. Labda kwa muutazari tuambie mnafanya kazi gani hasa? Uh, kama sio sala tu. Labda mnafanya kazi nyingine kwa kuhamasisha Wakristo kwa ajili ya kuinjilisha Wakristo. Sisi sana sana tunafanya kazi ya kutunza watoto yatima. Pia wazee wa mama ambao ni wajawazito na wote ambao wenye shida mbalimbali katika maisha tuko tunafanya kazi pamoja sio tu kuwatunza kimwili bali kuwatunza kiroho pia asante labda kama kuna mtu angependa kuingia msichana angependa kuingia katika shirika lenu labda ni nini hasa angelifanya ili aweze kuwa sister katika shirika lenu wote ni wito asipoitwa hawezi kuingia katika shirika kama Mungu amemuita lazima tu atakuwa sista huo ni wito sio tu mtu anaweza akaingia hivi hivi hapana ni wito kutoka kwa Mungu Asante sista ni huyo amekuwa ni sista mmoja wao wa shirika hili ambaye amempongeza padri mpya ambaye ni Solomon father Solomon ambaye yuko hapa kama unavyoona anabariki watu kutoka sehemu hii ya Ngoroi kwa niaba Captain TV ni Father Vincent Shumila nikisema asante asante Mungu awabariki na tunampongeza padri wetu kutoka sehemu hii tunaelekea moja kwa moja hadi huko Zubukia ambapo kuna sherehe kubwa zaidi kuanzia leo jioni hadi hapo kesho kanisa nzima hapa nchini Kenya tunasherekea na kusali pamoja kama kanisa moja kanisa katholiki mapadri na maskofu wote pamoja na wakristo kutoka sehemu mbalimbali tutakuwa huko ili tuweze kusali tutakuwa tunaombea taifa tunaombea familia zetu tunaombea mashukuli mbalimbali za dunia nzima tukisema kwamba Mungu ndiye ambaye anatuongoza tunakuomba wewe jiunge na sisi tunapoombea watu tunapoombea nji yetu tunapoombea viongozi wetu ili waweze kuishi jinsi Mwenyezi Mungu anavyohitaji Ningependa kuwashukuru ninyi nyota ambazo kwa njia moja au nyingine mmetuwezesha kufika hewani. Wafadhili wetu mahali popote mlipo asanteni sana. Mungu awabariki. Nduku zetu ambao wanafanya kazi hapa wakiongozwa na Bor, Eric, Simiu na wale wengine wote tunasema asante na kule studio tunapita ambaye vile vile anafanya kazi nzuri. Kutoka sehemu hii tunasema asante, asante Mungu awabariki. Wenu ni Father Vincent Shumila.
la misión está en el corazón de la iglesia. Y más aún, cuando una iglesia está en sínodo, solamente esa dinámica sinodal la lleva adelante la vocación misionera, es decir, la respuesta al mandato de Jesús de anunciar el Evangelio. Quisiera recordar que aquí no se acaba nada, sino que aquí continúa un camino eclesial. Se trata de un camino que recorremos, como los discípulos de Maús, escuchando al Señor que siempre sale a nuestro encuentro. Es el Señor de la sorpresa. Por medio de la oración y el discernimiento, el Espíritu Santo nos ayuda a realizar el apostolado del oído, o sea, escuchar con los oídos de Dios para poder hablar con la palabra de Dios. Y así nos acercamos al corazón de Cristo, del que brota nuestra misión y la voz que atrae hacia Él, una voz que nos descubre el centro de la misión, que es llegar a todos, buscar a todos, acoger a todos y buscar a todos sin excluir a nadie. Oremos por la Iglesia para que adopte la escucha y el diálogo como estilo de vida a todos los niveles, dejándose guiar por la fuerza del Espíritu Santo hacia las periferias del mundo. Pia nwa shukuru tena kwa support unapatia Caption TV. Ile support tunapatia Caption TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe. Kwa sababu una ujuzi. Lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi. Tuendelee kufanya kazi. Baby number 5106678 account name Caps TV Kanisa Katoliki kote duniani lina desturi ya kumheshimu mama Bikira Maria kwa namna ya kipekee katika mwezi wa tano au Mei na mwezi wa kumi ama Oktoba. Kwa miaka michache iliyopita, Kanisa Katoliki hapa nchini kupitia kwa baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki almarufu KCCB uanda siku ya maombi ya kitaifa kwenye milima ya Bikira Maria mama yetu asubukia. Nyuma yangu ni kanisa linaloendelea kujengwa kwa heshima ya mama yetu Bikira Maria wa mlima wa Subukia hapa Subukia. Nje ya kanisa hili ni uwanja ambao kila mwaka maelfu ya waumini kutoka pembe zote za Jimbo Katoliki hapa nchini wanakusanyika Jumamosi ya kwanza ya mwezi wa kumi kwa sala ya kitaifa ambapo mwaka huu inaangukia tarehe ya saba ya mwezi wa kumi. Sherehe ya Bikira Maria wa Rosari inatarajiwa kwamba watafika zaidi ya waumini 1035 kutoka pande zote. Siku hii ya maombi ya kitaifa hufanyika kila Jumamosi ya kwanza ya mwezi wa kumi. Mpangilio wa kuadhimisha siku hiyo ni kwamba kupitia kwa tume ya haki na amani ambayo sasa inajulikana kama idara ya haki na amani. Baraza hilo la maskofu hutoa kauli mbio ama wazo kuu ambalo huwasaidia waumini kusali kwa jambo maalum. 
Maombi hayo ya kitaifa huongozwa na muungano wa jimbo katoliki mbalimbali ambazo zimegawanywa katika makundi mane. kama wilaya za zamani kwa lugha ya kimombo mkusanyiko wa jimbo nyingi za kanisa huitwa ecclesiastical province ama metropolitan see tunawaalika wote tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, barabara zote zaelekea hapa katika shrine yetu tuweze kuja kwa pamoja tuweze kuomba tuombe wanafunzi wetu wanaojitayarisha kwa mitiani yao tuombe nchi yetu hiyo na amani na maendeleo tuombe familia tuweze kukua kama kitu kimoja kwa hivyo kama askofu msimamizi wa baga katika baraza la maaskofu kwa kitengo cha pastor and lay apostolate na walika nyote tuweze kuja tumjumuike pamoja tusherekee tumshukuru Mungu yale ambayo ametubariki nayo na kumuomba baraka zake azidi kuwa nasi kama nchi ambayo tumeikabidhi kwake kama Mungu na mwokozi wetu tuombe maendeleo nchi yetu upatanishi fiama tofauti vya wana siasa ili tuweze kuongea lugha moja familia iweze kusimama ikiwa thabiti e, mwabwana wapende bibi zao mabibi vipi, vile vile na kuwapenda watoto wetu watoto wanapitia changamoto nyingi sana hali ya madawa kichwa ngumu katika shule ukosefu wa mahali pa kuajiriwa hayo yote tunapeana kwake Mwenyezi Mungu lakini pia tufurahi tukiwa chini ya mama Maria ambaye anatuambia tunaombiwa hakuna yeyote alikuja kwa mama Maria na kumwomba chochote akabaki bila kutimiziwa e mama Maria tunaomba kupitia kwako ili Kenya iwe nje ya amani na tuishi tukiwa watu ambao wamepatanishwa Jumamosi tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, ndio siku ya maombi hayo ya kitaifa mwaka huu. Kwenye kalenda ya kanisa takatifu, tarehe saba ya mwezi wa kumi kanisa Katoliki umeshimubikira Maria kwa sifa ya mama yetu wa Rosary takatifu. Kama kawaida, maombi hayo yatafanyika kwenye mlima wa mama yetu wa Subukia kwenye Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru. Katika mlima huu naita mlima wa subukia ama mlima wa mama Maria uh, tangu ilipoanza imekuwa ni sehemu moja ya muhimu sana katika kukuza imani katika jimbo letu la Nakuru na hata kuza imani katika nchi yetu ya Kenya hivi tunaona kwamba mara kwa mara wakristo wanakuja kutoka pembe zote wakija kusali uh, ni mahali pana utulivu wa aina ya kipekee ni mahali ambapo pana mazingira yanayowezesha mtu kupatanishwa na Mungu na kuweza kusali katika njia ambayo inafaa. Wanakuja watu wengi kufanya retreat zao hapa, recollection zao hapa na wengine pia wanakuja kufanya njia ya msalaba na hayo yote yanasaidia katika kukuza na kulea imani yetu. Ibada ya misa itaongozwa na metropoli ya Nairobi inayohusisha jimbo kuu la Nairobi, jimbo la Kitui, jimbo la Machakos, jimbo la Ngong, jimbo la Nakuru, jimbo la Kericho, jimbo la Jeshi na kitinda mimba jimbo jipe ala wote. Waumini wote mnaalikwa na tunawaomba wahusika wote hasa mapadri wote eh, katika parokia zenu muendelee kuwatangazia waumini katika matangazo kwa imiza umuhimu wa kujiunga na maaskofu wetu wote katika Jamhuri ya Kenya kwa maombi haya kitaifa na mada kuu mwaka huu katika moyo ule wa sinodi eh, tuna, tun, eh, tunaambiwa pale eh, journey together as a reconciled family yani kusafiri pamoja kama familia iliyopatana au ili, familia patanishi au familia ambayo uh, ime, inaishi maisha ya kindugu maisha ya msamaha na ijumaa kabla ya siku hii ya tarehe saba mwezi wa kumi, tutakuwa na misa ya vigilia kwa hivyo na waombeni tafadhali tuweze kukutana huko subukia tuweze kuombea taifa letu la Kenya tuombe familia zetu tuombe vijana wetu tuombe muombe Mungu kwa nyakati hizi za uchumi e, tunazopitia Mungu atupe nguvu na faraja na kupitia maombezi ya mama yetu Bikira Maria na tunaambiwa katika maandiko kwamba sala tunayo inayotolewa katika 
jumuiya katika wawili watatu au zaidi na kwa imani sala hiyo inamfikia Mwenyezi Mungu so tunapoamini hivyo tunapoomba kwa pamoja tunapopiga magoti tunaponyenyekea mbele za Mungu kwa pamoja bila shaka Mungu ataendelea kuyasikiliza maombi yetu na kuibariki nji yetu na kuitakasa ili tuone ya kwamba basi tumeishi katika utulivu na matumaini na amani siku zote so nasema karibuni sana sana siku hii maana bila nyinyi waumini na watu wote wenye mapenzi mema basi siku hii haiwezi eh, kufana uh, vile so karibuni sana tunana kweli itafanyika vizuri kwetu ni kuendelea kuomba ili Mungu afanikishe hii siku ili sisi sote tuje kuomba na kuomba hapa katika mji mtakatifu wa mama Maria inatarajiwa kwamba wanakuwa takriban elfu tano kutoka jimbo hizo watausika kuna ligana na kila dioces kama Nairobi sasa sisi tunahitajika tuwe 2000 na crew wawe 1000 uh, DUD wawe 200 Kiricho 500 Machakos 500 uh, Kitui 500 sasa tunaye uh, dioces zingine ile imezarua juzi juzi wote hatujui watakuja wagapi kati ya vivutio vikuu kwa maujaji kwenye mlima wa mama yetu wasubuke ni maji ya baraka Katika imani yetu sisi wa Kristo wa Katoliki maji ya baraka ni sehemu kubwa ya imani yetu Tunaamini kwamba baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu zinatumiminikia kupitia kwa alama mbalimbali na maji ya baraka ni sehemu moja wapo ambapo Padre ama Shemasi ama Askofu anatumia maji ya baraka kubariki waumini na kubariki mali, maisha na vyombo vyao. Hapa kwenye mlima wa Subukia, wa Mama Maria, wanaofika hapa mahujaji, hawajihisi wamekamilika kabla hawajarudi nyumbani na maji ya baraka kwa ajili yao na kwa ajili ya jamaa zao. Kwa hivyo hapa tarehe saba ya mwezi huu ama tarehe saba ya mwezi ujao wa kumi, itakuwa ni foleni ndefu ndefu waumini wa katoliki wakisadiki kwamba Mungu anawabariki kupitia kwa maji haya ya baraka maji ya baraka kwako yanatukumbusha ubatizo wetu ambapo tuliondolewa dhambi ya asili na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kutubariki na kubariki mali yetu kupitia maji haya ya baraka kwa imani tunayabeba na kujibariki nayo. Vile vile maujaji hupeleka maombi yao kwa Mungu kupitia kwa Yesu Kristu na kwa mombezi ya Bikira Maria. Kanisa ndogo iliyo nyuma yetu ndio ilikuwa kanisa la kwanza hapa kwenye mlima wa mama. Ambapo mahujaji wakija kwa imani wanapanda mlima huu wanafika pale kwa hiyo kanisa ndogo wanatoa sala zao kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kwa maombezi ya mama Maria. Hapo wanaamini kwamba alivyo waambia uh, wanafunzi pale kwenye kana ya Galilaya fanyeni atakalowaambia maombi sala shukrani za waumini zinafikia Yesu kupitia kwa maombezi ya mama Maria. Kwa udhamini wa baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki hapa nchini almarufu kesi CB Runinga Captain ndicho kituo tambulika na cha kipekee kitakachokuletea ibada hii Katoliki moja kwa moja utakapokuwa wewe ambaye kwa sababu moja ama nyingine utaweza kwenda safari hadi subukia ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha maskofu mapadri watawa wa kiume na kike na wakristo wote kwa jumla kutoka pembe zote za majimbo yetu ya hapa Kenya katika National Prayer Day ya mwaka huu mwaka elfu mbili na ishirini na tatu ambayo kiini chake ni kusafiri pamoja kama jumuiya uh, moja ama kwa jumuiya patanishi hivyo ni kusema kwamba tunaendeleza ule mwito wa sinodi wa kutembea pamoja tutembee pamoja kama familia ya nchi ya Kenya hivi tunajua yale mambo ambayo tunayapitia na tungependa tuje pamoja ili kuweza kumshukuru Mungu kwa yale ametujalia na hasa hata katika changamoto tulizonazo pia kumuomba ili akaweza kutupa njia ya kuweza kupata suluhisho 
katika maisha ya watu wa Kenya ili tuendelee kumcha Mungu na kumtukuza katika njia ambayo inafaa. Kwa hivyo ni kusema njooni tuombe pamoja tumshukuru Mungu na tuombe jumuiya zetu, tuombe nchi yetu, makanisa yetu, familia zetu ili tuwe tumepatanishwa, tupatanishwe na neno la Mungu na zaidi ya yote Kristu mpatanishi wetu. Endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki